and welcome to Aomori Prefecture, Japan's northern gateway. Aomori Prefecture is one of the northernmost prefectures in Honshu, and its natural environment and historical background make it an attractive region. It has many mountains, lakes, and coastlines. Major cities include Aomori City, the prefectural capital, Hiroseki City, a historical castle town, and Hachinu City, a prosperous port city. Each of these cities has a different charm and culture, offering something new to discover each time you visit. Aomori Prefecture has a population of approximately 1.2 million. Taking advantage of the harsh natural environment of the land, various industries such as agriculture, fishing, and tourism have developed. In particular, Omori boasts the largest production of apples in Japan. The history and culture of Omori Prefecture is a blend of old traditions and new culture. First of all, Hiroseki Castle probably comes to mind. This castle is known for its cherry blossoms in the spring, which attract many tourists. The Nabuta Festival is held in the summer, and the sight of the huge Nabuta floats parading through the streets is a fascinating sight to behold. And an essential part of the history of Aomori Prefecture is the Sane Mariyama Ruins. This is the site of a large settlement from the Mijaman period and is considered a very important place for understanding the Joman culture in Japan. Here, dwellings, earthenware, stone tools, and other artifacts from that period have been excavated, offering a glimpse into the life and culture of the people of the Joman period. The history and culture of Aomori Prefecture is a mixture of elements from various periods, from ancient times to the present day. By learning about these historical backgrounds and cultural characteristics, you will be able to get a deeper sense of Aomori Prefecture's appeal. Aomori Prefecture is home to many fascinating tourist attractions that combine natural beauty and historical background. First of all, Lake Toada is known as a place where one can enjoy the scenery of the four seasons. Fresh greenery in spring, breezes dancing across the lake in summer, autumn leaves in fall, and snowy landscapes in winter. Each time you visit the lake, you will see a different expression. Next is Shirakami Sanji, which is registered as a World Natural Heritage Site. The area is covered with virgin beach forests, and visitors can encounter many plants and animals throughout the four seasons. In particular, the autumn foliage attracts many tourists with its beauty. Then there is Mount Ozoraizen, known as the Sacred Mountain of Japan. This place is believed to be the boundary between the afterlife and the mystical atmosphere. Ozoraizen is also home to many attractions, including Hell Valley, where the smell of sulfur fills the air, and a temple that has been an object of worship since ancient times. Next is the Iris Kiryu. Here, where the clear stream continues, hiking and trekking can be enjoyed. The autumn leaves are especially beautiful in fall, and the scenery reflected on the surface of the water is like a painting. Finally, there is Sukayu Onsen, this is considered one of the oldest hot spring resorts in Japan. With its characteristic sulfur smell, this hot spring is gentle on the skin and is sure to heal both body and soul. Aomori Prefecture is a treasure trove of fresh seafood. Among these, scallops and oma tuna are especially well known throughout the country for their delicious taste. First, scallops. Omori scallops are characterized by their thick meat, sweetness, and a texture that almost melts in the mouth. When eaten as sashimi, the freshness and sweetness of the scallop can be felt directly. They can also be enjoyed as grilled scallops with a savory outside and juicy inside. Next, tuna from Oma. Oma is known as 
one of the leading tuna producing areas in Japan. The fatty part of the tuna, especially the otoro fatty tuna, is superb. And once you have tasted it, you will never forget the taste. Tuna from Oma are also displayed in demolition shows, which provide visitors with an opportunity to witness their powerful appearance. Omori Prefecture offers these and many other fresh seafoods such as squid, shrimp, and abalone. At local markets, visitors can obtain fresh seafood freshly caught that day and eat it on the spot. Omori's Gourmet Cuisine is centered on fresh seafood and other delicacies that are unique to the area. When you visit, be sure to enjoy the flavors of the area. Omori Prefecture has produced many specialty products due to its rich natural environment and historical background. First of all, Omori Prefecture is known for its apples. Omori boasts Japan's largest production of apples, which are characterized by their sweetness and crunchy texture. During the harvest season, visitors can enjoy apple picking and savor the fresh taste directly from the apples. Next, sugar this is a traditional craft of Omori Prefecture, with its beautiful shine and unique design. It is handmade one by one with much time and effort, and its high quality is highly appreciated both in Japan and abroad. Omori's specialty products are filled with flavors, techniques, and history unique to the region. When you visit, be sure to pick up one of these specialties and experience their charm. Together, we have traveled through the charms of Omori Prefecture. Its deep history, beautiful nature, heartwarming culture, and exquisite cuisine and specialty products. Omori Prefecture is a jewel of Japan, a perfect combination of all these elements. Above all, the charm of Omori Prefecture is the warmth and hospitality of the people who live there. Their daily lives and smiles make this place even more special. Omori Prefecture radiates its charm throughout the four seasons, day and night. Once you visit, you will be captivated by its beauty and the warmth of its people, and you will want to return again and again. This video is a great opportunity for you to visit Omori Prefecture and experience its charm first and Omori Prefecture is waiting for you. And if you like this video, please share and comment. Also, we will continue to introduce prefectures throughout Japan. So if you are interested, please subscribe to our channel.